problem with our uh, idea to just recolor the grout. The grout is uh, coming apart in here. So, we have fresh grout, putty knife, sponge, I'm going to go get a water bucket, the grout float, and we're going to get after this. Before we get after it, put some knee pads on. Okay, for starters, we want to get the bad grout out. I do not have a grout saw. I did. I honestly don't know what I did with it. see I've got the new grout inserted we've got all the bad grout replaced and we're going to recolor this for now all we can do is sit and let it dry okay folks I messed up I can't find the footage that I took of when I actually applied the uh, grout to the tile so, well, I'm going to try to talk you through it, I hope it makes sense. Simply put, I took that putty knife and took the uh, grout out of the uh, can, used the putty knife to push the grout in to the uh, seam, took the grout float, dipped it in water, and used it to basically smooth it out and then I uh, dipped a sponge in water and used it to clean up any overages, any mess. Um, and then we kind of went into the last scene where I was talking about we're going to have to let that crap dry. I'm sorry I missed that uh, footage. I, I know I filmed it Unfortunately, it's a one-shot thing. I can't find it to edit it now, so I can't add it to the video, and I don't have any other spots where I can do that. Um, so, sorry. Um, I'm going to be doing some more tile projects here, but it's going to be several months. Uh, I will try to post something up when I get to that point. Anyway, there it is. Uh, we've got more coming. I'm still working on that uh, glue up for the uh, candle stand top. Um, I ended up with some more urgent priorities on the wainscoting. Uh, I will be working on that some more. I've got some really interesting stuff coming up with that. And uh, well, we're just going to keep plodding along with this remodel. Um, if you are in one of the hurricane impacted areas like I am um, I just want to send my um, condolences may or may not be the right word for you depending but I definitely want to let you know that we're in this together and uh, I'm praying for all those that got hit really hard um, we didn't get hit that bad I didn't get water in the house other than in the shop uh, and even then, the water in the shop wasn't that bad. However, we've been jumping around like lunatics, chasing 
friends and family that have been flooded out. Uh, a lot of flooded cars, flooded homes, things of that nature. So our prayers are absolutely positively with you. And let's just knuckle down and get this done. Um, that's the perspective from just south of Houston, Texas. Uh, for the people of Florida, uh, absolutely, we feel you. Um, as I understand, there is a Texas delegation in Florida helping with the cleanup. And I want to thank the Floridians that came to Texas between Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. Um, I can't imagine being that far away from home when a hurricane hits. Um, thank you so, so much. To the people of Puerto Rico, uh, if you see this, right now I know you're out of power. And I know things have got to be insane over there right now. Um, I feel for you. I, I really do. Um, I'm praying that you guys can get your power, water, food, everything like that restored as soon as possible. So that's all I've got to say in this video. I thank you so very much for watching. And uh, like I always say, get out to your shop. Be productive. Be safe. But most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you guys later.